Hey, Yvonne. Hi, Royce. So there's Hello, Yvonne. Okay. Good morning, Eleanor. Okay, so does any of you remember? Um, does any of you remember what Clad said yesterday about coming into class? Because I thought, oh, okay. So he'll be here in a minute. I was just wondering because I don't remember if Clad said he was going to be in Zoom today. Okay, so let's give him a second to to log in. <laughs> You're going, I like your background. <laughs> Thank you. Want to see her head? Kind of cool, huh? Um, I wonder if I could turn it on so you could see. I actually moved yesterday. You did? So, I did, yeah. So I'm staying with my parents because Elliot is back at Laurel Ruff. So he's going to be kind of exposed. And since I get to work online, I didn't want to be exposed to any germs or whatever because I'm not, I'm not out and about. So I thought it'd be best until... Probably until Christmas, I think I'll go back home. But um, makes sense. yeah. Um, so I'm not sure what time Clad's. Oh, okay. Here he is. Oh, he goes to work today. That's kind of exciting, huh? Hello. Okay. Hi, Clyde. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing... I'm very excited to start my first day. I bet. I'm excited for you. Are you nervous? A little. I'll admit. Um, yeah. That's okay. Just pay attention to everything they tell you and do your best. That's all you can do, right? I think you're going to do great. Thank you. I think they're, I think they're going to like you... Because you're very friendly, mm -hmm. you know. I think you're going to do well. I think so too. Okay, so let's start with our good mornings. Yeah. Okay. So since we're already talking, Clad, I'll tell you. Good morning, Clad. Good morning, Yvonne. So we talked about your morning. So it would have sent me that text at like twelve thirty. <laughs> Last night, no, not the text, the um, something on the email, right? Oh, it was your journal prompt. Oh yeah, I sent it late, late at night. Because you know the the one that I opened, it didn't have it. It just was the journal prompt question, and that was all. Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. But you submitted it though, right? In the classroom. Yeah. I submitted the actual one, the one I did. So I wonder if that's I wonder if that's why I couldn't open it. Do you have it? Happen to have it on Google Docs? Yeah, I do. Can you send it to me on Google Docs? Yeah, sure. I'll send. I think I already shared it with you, though. I looked and you didn't this morning. I don't know if you had after the one o'clock one, but I didn't see anything because I couldn't. I, I just oh, yeah, kind of wrote back. I turned it in. I think it's because I turned it in. So why don't I have access to your answer? I think it's because of the fact that I. I couldn't oh, see okay. anything. It, the thing is, is that with that, if I turn it in, then you can't actually yeah. read it or see it. Well, that's weird because I'm a teacher in that room, so I don't know why yeah, I don't have access weird. to see your answer. Huh. Can you share it I on agree. Google Docs so I can kind of critique it? I already shared it with you. And I already made sure everyone who shares um, it has it as an editor. 
Oh, okay. Well, thank you for that. I'll go back and look after Zoom. Um, All right. Okay. Good morning, Royce. Good morning. How are you doing today? Fine. Did, were you able to see, I did it early this morning. Were you able to see the notes that I wrote on your journal prompt? Did you, you wrote, see? Wrote something? I did. I wrote it on the bottom. I didn't make it as comments because I didn't want that to mess up anything. I didn't want the comments to stay. So I just added to your, I wrote on the very bottom. I said, hi, Royce. And then I made some notes on the bottom of what you wrote. But you don't have to do it now. I mean, that's, we can, you can work on that after. Um, so those have to be turned in today because Sherry emailed me this morning and, and wanted me to make sure that you guys turn those journal prompts in today, okay? So take a look at your notes, Devin. I think I wrote on yours. I know I wrote on Royce's and I couldn't see anything Clad wrote. Um, and Eleanor, did you get your journal prompt? You know, um, you, yes. can, you have access to it in the classroom. Room, right. Um, I think that so. you can text me. Big so. guys, okay. I have to vote. Okay, so if you need help after the Zoom meeting, um, I can help you with that. We can get on Google Docs, and you can call me, and we can work on it together after the Zoom. Okay. 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 Got it. So, you? Good. Good morning. Huh? So, Royce, did you have any? Hmm? Hold on a second. What was that, Eleanor? Got you. If if I need help, and then you know how we used to do uh, the Google Docs together, and then we'd be on the phone call. Yeah, we can do that after Zoom. If you need help with the journal prompt, okay. Okay. And then we can work on it together. All right. Okay. Okay. So, Royce, did you have any want, have any comments? No, I don't have any comments. No comments. Okay. So, good morning, Eleanor. Good morning, Yvonne. Are you always in a good mood? Yeah. You always seem so happy. I love that. I love that. You always seem so happy. That makes me happy too. Okay. So we already talked about your journal prompt and you know that you can call me after the zoom right okay do you have any have anything you want to say to the class um no i'm fine you're fine okay good morning devin i can't hear you i think you're muted morning yvonne (laughs) good morning so did you send me a journal prompt? I think you did, right? Right. Oh, yeah, you did. Okay. So read the comment on that and be specific because I think sir was kind of general. And I think she's looking for what your work, what your specific work habits are and how that affects other people. So specifically, make a habit of doing it work. And then how do the coworkers respond to that? And if it's, if you need to use the school, that's fine, right? Because you're not really working right now. Can or your uh, past environment, low rough, if you need to. Um, which I would just say school. I wouldn't throw in the low rough because I don't think Sherry likes to have any references to low rough. Um, so, so do you have any comments on that? I can't hear you. You need to unmute. Mm. I I think you need to pull out your headphones and re-plug them in. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now what were you saying? Um, I don't have any comments and I'm okay. Okay. 
Okay, hi Tyler. Good morning. Good morning. You're still outside. <laughs> yep. Maybe not next week because it's supposed to start raining, right? Well, I'm not. I'm not exposed to the rain. Oh, that's true. Are you gonna be sitting out there next week if it's raining? Maybe. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's see. Did I get? I didn't get your journal prompt, did I? Well, I I didn't know what to say on my. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm still working um, on it. You're still working on it? Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. If you want to work on me later with it, um, maybe after this Zoom or after the next Zoom, but it does need to be turned in today. So I can help you. I can throw out some ideas. So get you something to, to write with, right? Get you started. Okay. Um, so, oh, yeah. yeah. So those need a... Um, so text me, um, because I'm not sure if Eleanor is going to get a hold of me after this Zoom. Um, but I have like an hour or so before the next Zoom. So I have two hours, so I'll have time to work with you on it before the next Zoom. So we can work on it then. Okay. That would give you a little bit of time to, um, clean it up and then turn it in. Okay. 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 The to say to the class or talk about anything? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. And Jordan, good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling with your mouth? Good. You better? Yeah, tomorrow, my aunt said that tomorrow I get to eat my Halloween candy because she said I can start eating it on Wednesday. <laughs> the countdown for the hours to eat that candy, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Bad timing to have the tooth pulled right before Halloween, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so... <clears throat> So, is there anything that you want to talk about with the class or say anything? Um, I mean, I forgot to write my journal prompt. Well, I can't write my journal prompt in Google Docs because I graduated out of San Juan, which means I can't go get into the classroom without a code, which I have Cherry for before, but she hasn't gave it to me. But I think I can do it in Google Drive and then share it with her. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Sorry about that. My, my internet just pooped out on me. I, Jordan was talking, I'm trying to understand she's really breaking up really bad and all of a sudden, poof. The oldest You're in it ain't looking too good today. <laughs> <laughs> so, did anyone else catch what she was saying? What? Well, I don't know. What. I, said, I said that um, I keep I, getting a, a I said that notice I said, across the top of the. I I said that I the screen that it's not. I said that I can't access Google Classroom because I graduated out of San Juan, which I've asked you for the code because it requires a code. But I guess because I graduated out of San Juan, um, I can't get into Google Classroom, but I can do Google Docs and then share it with her. So didn't Sherry send you the Zoom through your email? I mean, not the Zoom, I'm sorry. The, uh, are you talking about the, the journal prompt? Yes. I, she did send me the journal prompt through my email, but I'm saying I can write my answer in Google Docs and then share it with her because I can't okay. do it from the classroom. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Well, share it with me first before you send it to Sherry. Okay. So make sure, make sure that gets sent to me. Um, 
Yeah. Okay, and let me know if you need help with that, Jordan, because I can help you too. Okay. I got a couple hours between Zooms and then after Zoom, I can work with you too. And then we can get it turned in. Okay. So I wanted to go over uh, your emails real quick because when I send you guys, when I, is that the definitions? You're muted. Hey, Sue, you wanted us to send us this morning to print. And that, yeah, that's this, right? Yeah, I printed it. But you sent us this morning to print it, and as soon as you sent it, I printed it. Okay, good. Well, that was quick. Thank you for checking your email and getting that printed up. That's awesome. Good. Okay, well, Jordan, since I'm talking to you right now, so you're, you're, every time I send emails out, I get two emails for several of you. So, Jordan, are you? I'm using Jordan. The like, Gmail. Uh, I'm using Gmail, but I can do use Gmail more often than I use Jordan Chalet at Outlook.com. I still do use that email, but like, I don't, I check it much. Not too much, but like I check it for emails and also I check Google Mail because that one just pops up on my uh, phone. So if I just send your stuff to to um, your Gmail, that'd be fine. Yeah, that'd be fine. Am I? Are we frozen? Okay, um, so I'm just going to use that, and that, that way you're not going to get any work from me through the Outlook email, okay, because I just want to pick one, and I always get confused because they always, they both pop up every time you, I put your name in there to send something. Okay, so, so what's that? My Gmail is jordanlouisechalet at gmail.com, and my middle name is misspelled. It's L O S. I forgot to put the U. I misspelled my middle name. That's okay. Okay, so you got the Gmail one. So I'm just going to stick with that one. Okay. So Tyler, I have the iCloud. It's uh, Platts T1999 um, iCloud.com. Yeah, that works. Is that the one you yeah, use? Or, okay, so there's a school get into that one uh, sorry you broke up I couldn't hear you okay so I have a school one for you too the Platts T7641 yeah does I that have. work too yeah okay so do you check that one yeah but it's a bit harder for me to check it is it? So you prefer the iCloud.com one then? Yeah. It's easier for you? Okay. Um, and you're able to get things off the Google Classroom? Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure because you, you are a student still, so. Okay. Yeah, I'm and not then, 22 yet. Uh, right. Okay. Okay. So, Clad, I have. Yes. Okay. Yes. I also have two for you. I have the the Wibera. That one. For what? I think it was frozen. You keep breaking up. Okay, so I have, I know, my, my internet connection is really, really spotty. Okay, so your email address that you use, do you use the San Juan one? It's yes, Wibera, the, it's the Wibera III? Yes. So that's, that's the one you use. Okay, so there's another one. I don't know if you're able to use this one. This is clad.wibera at sanjuan.edu. You oh, have access to them? That one is my that's older your one. Old one? 
the one I used when I was li- used, I used back in elementary school. Yeah. Yeah. Elementary the one school? I, yeah. Because <laughs> because that's an employee. That's an employee email address. Oh. That's weird. Oh. That's weird that I you don't have know, that. I don't know if I can edit that then. Yeah, I mean if you have access to it, you have access to it. But that is a um an employee, a Sam one employee uh email address because it's your first name dot last name at sam one dot edu. That's exactly oh. how how all the staff has their email. Mine is Yvonne dot Mejia at Sam dot edu. So when I saw that I'm like, Hey, that's an employee one. I don't know how if you had access to that, but Okay, so I'm not going to use that one, Kai. Yeah, I don't use that okay, one at but all. but I'm not going to use... Yeah, I'm not going to use that. So I'm just going to use your uh, 6187 one for you. Okay. Because that's that's the school one. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then Royce, I have a Gmail account for you, and I have your student one. Do you get into your student one? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Rice. You keeps coming up real bad. So you have access to your your school one, Royce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anybody hear Royce's answer? Yes. Email. Okay. Okay, because I prefer you guys to your school because that's what comes up first when I um, send out new messages. Okay, so Rice, I'm not going to be using your Gmail. Okay, mm-hmm. so now I got to make note of this somewhere so I don't forget because I've asked Jordan her emails a few times already. Um, okay, what's next on my list here? Uh... Okay. So, let's do good mornings, journal prompts, let's put emails. Okay. So, I don't know. I sent it this morning, so maybe you guys didn't have it. Um, did you guys check your email for this is the self This is the self-advocacy terminology that we're starting this unit um and i say because <clears throat> i was going to do the discussion about it first to kind of talk about what the unit's going to include maybe it'd be better to start the unit with the vocabulary mm-hmm. because there's going to be a lot of words in here you guys may or not be may or may not be familiar with so i thought we'd start with the definitions then go back and then read this will probably be, I'm sure this will probably take the rest of the with this because there's like, there's 10, 10 words I want to go over. Um, and most of you have heard these words, and accessible and stuff like that. Um, so I wanted to go over the definitions first. So when we talk about, or when I talk about the discussion of um, what's to come in the unit and explain what we're going to be learning and going over. That way, when you come across the terms that are in this paper, um, then you'll already know what it means. Okay. So how many of you have the definitions in front of you? It could be up on your screen. Okay. Jordan does. Thank you for that, Jordan. I appreciate that. Yeah, I do. Run that, so I want to make sure to put that in my, oh, that's right. I got to talk about something else too. Oh. Okay, Jordan. Um, had... Okay, so... Found it. Before we get into this, I got a question. So, remember we talked yesterday? Yeah. Okay. So, how many of you guys... I uh, hope I don't. How many of you created yourself for the initial papers you were supposed to do? 
What you saying? Did anyone do that? Raise your hand if you did that. So, recognition papers? Recognition you guys were supposed to do every day? Yeah, I did uh -huh. it. It was how you rated yourself, the attendance, and I you finished did it mine. good. I don't I've made it. I feel this if I okay, so it's kind of you got the you got it done and it was just for Monday right yeah so you just had to go down the list and gave yourself a score for just on Monday because you can't do the whole week because we haven't done it yet so it was just for the Monday so so does anybody you all have that daily recognition right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay does anybody not have it. I think I think you guys are frozen on me. I didn't have, have it. What's that, Clad? What he said. I don't have that I, paper. Oh, you don't? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send it out today for all of you. I'm going to make it, get a post-it note. Because um, that way I just make sure that all of you have access to that. I don't know why you don't have it. I think Sherry may, may. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks because we were supposed to have started this a couple of weeks ago. Um, but Sherry never said anything about it or made you guys turn it in or anything. So I think it just kind of got pushed to the wayside. So um, to send out. <coughs> daily recognition okay so well, that's one thing i gotta do today okay i'll make sure everybody has that um yeah because now so now if you guys didn't do it yesterday now you'll have to do it for yesterday and then today at the end of the day because you also have to include the um think you all are frozen not clad but i think you guys are frozen can you guys hear me yeah. 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 I can hear I can hear you too. Okay. Thank you for yeah, because, uh, because sometimes I'll start talking and all of you guys have the same you guys look like you're frozen. It's either you're frozen or you're listening very intently. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so by the end of the day. Okay. Um, so like I said yesterday, don't do them. You have to do them every day. So you remember what happened during that day for you. Okay. If you did really good, um, like Jordan, I was very, very proud of you that you actually got into your email because I sent it kind of late and I'm so ecstatic that you actually read your email and printed it up. That's just outstanding. I, I just, Kudos to you for doing that. I'm very, very proud of that. In fact, I made note of it so I can put it on my on my um, my daily recognition for you guys. I'm going to give you a real big thumbs up for that because I really, that was awesome. So, yeah, um, when I start this, <laughs> then I will send you the work ahead of time. Um, I done. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to start with because I've got to do the, the discussion first and then we're going to start with uh, the definitions. That's going to be the second thing, but I want to kind of like talk about get it started first. But then then I got the idea this morning that I thought maybe I would go over the definitions and then start the discussion. So you guys are familiar with the terms that are going to be on there. Um, so, okay. So you guys, you guys don't have to have the it, it open on your screen but it'll be helpful if you can read along with the definitions. Okay, so the first one is accessible. Describe buildings that can be used by everyone, including people who use a wheelchair, walker, or cane. Okay, so I'm sure, let's see, of our classroom. Okay, like our classroom is accessible because we have a ramp. I mean, three of you know that because you've been there, but the other three clad and, 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 and Eleanor, you 
someone wants to get in the classroom that has a wheelchair or walker, it's easy for them to do so. Okay, that's being accessible, right? So if it just had stairs to get into the classroom, even even if it was just like three stairs to get up, that wouldn't be accessible for everybody because if a walker, that's going to be very hard for you to get up there. If you had a wheelchair, you wouldn't be able to get up there at all, right? So that would be inaccessible, okay? Okay, so the second one is needed for people when they reach adulthood. These often include, but are not limited to, help in finding a job or home patients. Um, so how many of you have heard of the adult, ser adult service? So I know, I know Rose, Tyler, and Jordan has. So mainly the question is probably geared towards Clad, Eleanor, and Devin. Have you guys heard of adult services? You might, you may even. I feel like I have. Not me. Not you. And how about you, Devin? Devin, are you frozen? No, I, I can hear you. Have you heard of adult services? No. No? So chances are you probably don't have any as of yet because you haven't heard of them. Because if you haven't heard of them, you probably don't have them. Um, well, this is good for you then because this, this whole unit that we're going to be working on is having you um, define your your disability and be able to find services in the Sacramento area that that you may need. When you leave Project Search and you get a job, you you might need help I'll get staying having someone stay with you in that job, right? Um, that may or may not happen. You may or may not need that, but it's good to know what services are out there for you, right? When the time comes. Okay, so the third one is Compensatory strategies. This means actions a person may experience. Hmm. That's a kind of a hard to explain one. Does anybody want to want to say that in a different way? Tyler, do you know what that means? Compensatory stra strategies. No, I've never heard of it. I know. Yeah, huh? I think it's more like term look before you leap. Hmm. Because we think we're going to do what X expects on others. Okay, so the definition is actions one may take in order to offset difficulties a person may experience. Maybe, maybe um, doing something different. If you think something's going to be hard to do, you'll do something different. You come up with a different plan, so it won't be so difficult. Maybe, right? Um, yeah, that's kind of a tough one. Okay, so disability, the meaning of disability. That this is under the ADA, which means Americans with Disabilities. To walking, eating, speaking, breathing, working, standing, or thinking. So basically your quality of life and anything you're doing. If you need to go to the store and you can't do it, if you need to make yourself food and you're having trouble doing it because um, say you're walking with a walker, you might gonna, you might have trouble. If you are having a hard time walking, you might have trouble getting to the refrigerator, getting all your stuff out because you need, you know, your two hands to be free from the walker to be able to get your stuff out. Right. So that's going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. So if you have a disability, and and nothing is affected, say. Say you can get around just fine. Do all this stuff. We have a disability, but it doesn't affect your quality of life, right? Okay, but a disability is um, when it does. It could affect any aspect of your life. Okay, discrimination. Outlook action or treatment against another person or ideas, right? Could be because of the way they look, 
if they're a different race, if they speak differently, um, if they're a man, if they're a woman, a lot of, there's a lot of reasons why people discriminate, discriminate. If the higher ups, um, won't talk to, um, the, the lower people, you know, that's discrimination too. Mm. Has anybody, um, ever seen that or experienced that? Have have you seen it anywhere in a workplace or at school, maybe? Someone being made against? I a lot of it, that, of what you said at Laura Ralph. You saw that at Laura Ralph? I, 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 I don't know. I, th yeah. I think I saw something about that Laura Ralph one, I think a few times at least. I could be wrong. I'm not really 100%. Yeah. 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 Kind of breaking up. Did anyone catch that? Did anyone catch what Ray said? It said something about how he saw that in Laura. Yeah. Also, you're cutting off really hard, hard for us, so it's hard for us to hear you. Yeah, yeah, you're wrong. It's it's really is bad. Yeah, I agree. That, uh, that really hurts me when I see that. Um, I got a suggestion: not these kids to leave early or not, or try to get ditch at our school. Just try to exit out like. For like a few seconds or, or like one or two minutes and just reboot it back on. Just try like that. Try to exit out of Zoom? Yeah, or restart your internet probably. Because at your last place, it was pretty fine, but now it's like even more, it's worse now. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to do something about that. I think it's, I, I don't understand because I'm right by the internet um where the internet would be so i'm not sure look at it later see if he can help me get a better connection maybe i'll buy something to to help that connection um oh i do think i have something oh i left it at home ha huh. okay i'll have to i'll have to get it today later today maybe i'll get it before the next zoom um sorry about that guys um so okay yeah, we did see it at Laura Ruff a lot, and I and I actually really hated that. that. I hate to see it anywhere. Um, has any of you guys, the other people here, seen it or have any experience with that discrimination? At one point, I did. Hey, what'd you say? She was talking I about discrimination. If anybody else. Is I mean, I saw it too, where people were being discriminated. Even the even there, even there, what bugged me was how every assembly they would say, "Oh, we we're good, we treat you like a doll," but yet whenever we did something wrong, they treated us like a kid. And it's like you just said adults, but now you're you just acted like we're a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you used to get kicked out of the classroom. Remember, uh, Jordan? Yeah, I used to get. You and Dominica. Yeah, we used to get kicked yeah. out. Well, that's because we never paid attention at all. We just did what we wanted. Because uh, to me, yeah. and Dominique, we thought, oh, you don't care what we do, so see ya. Yeah, that's a form of discrimination there, isn't it? Because they didn't want you, you asking questions because you didn't understand the material. Right? Yes. Yeah. I remember um, 
talking to you about that on the bus coming back from Escaton. I don't know if you remember that, but I remember getting really upset because you be you were being kicked out of the classroom. And I said, no, because the IDEA Act is for everybody to have a right to education if they want it. Everybody. Mm -hmm. I don't care mm -hmm. the level of learning. Everybody has a right to learn. So if you get kicked out of a classroom or they don't enroll you in a school, that's discrimination, right? And what you went through there with that situation, that was also a form of discrimination because you weren't able to learn. You, you weren't given that op a fair opportunity to know the material that we being taught. See, and this is a kind of thing, um, and this self-advocacy unit is going to try and help with just that. It's going to help with your rights and you know, the material. This is what this is geared I don't think so. This isn't working for me and this isn't fair. Okay, this is going to give you kind of a heads up on le the, the legal way to get uh, fairness with mm -hmm. your job and your school and, and because we all need to be tra treated fairly. And yeah. it's awful if you're, if you're not, yeah. you know, people get discriminated, discriminated against, right? Because if you go in for an interview, like Jordan, if you go in for an interview, me and you are going to go for the same job, right? You're yeah. like, oh, well, she's young and she's, you know, whatever, but she's young. And I go in there for the same job. They're going to look at me and like, hmm, you know, she's older. You know, you would probably get the job over me because of your age. So they're not actually legal to ask you how old you are. But sometimes, sometimes they ask you questions um, to kind of give that away, right? Yeah. So one time, long time ago, I went on a job interview and uh, I had mentioned I had kids. And how many kids do you have? I said, I have five. And she goes, oh, what are their ages? I shouldn't have answered the question. I shouldn't have answered the question. But I should have said, well, you know, that's kind of irrelevant to the job. So I can answer that if I get hired. But see, when I uh, then I said, Oh, you know, my youngest, my oldest is uh, 28 years old. And they're like, oh, okay, great. But they're thinking, huh, okay, so if she had the, her child at 20, then they're going to put me at, you know, 48 or whatever. They're, they're going to do the math and they're going to get a good ballpark figure of how old I am. Right? So they cannot ask you how old you are. But the interview question, so always remember this. Well, you guys are young, so it doesn't matter. But, but there's some questions that you don't have to answer. And that's one of them is your age because they're supposed to be able to hire you um, based on your age, just on your experience and, and what you bring to the table and has should have nothing to do with your age. But it does oftentimes do. They often look at someone older and they don't get the job because they're older. Their hair is gray or they're, they look older. You know, some people, uh, yeah, some people have wrinkles and they, they look a little bit older than they actually are. So, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's difficult to deal with that. It's, and, and it's everywhere. Discrimination is everywhere. So that's, um, yeah, you just have to know what to do about, about things like that, unfortunately, when they come. Okay. So the next word here is eligibility. Criteria or requirements which determine a right to participate excuse me, in a particular activity, service, or program. And in this case, the eligibility will be if you qualify for uh, the adult services. Like you'll have to have a certain level of disability before they'll accept you, right? I'm quite sure. I haven't really looked into the adult services, so I'm not sure if they have specific, excuse me, I don't know if they have specific services like let's see if if you have I'm sorry my um like 
Can you guys hear me? A little bit. You're kind of breaking up, though. I can hear you. You guys, Royce, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you a little bit, but you're kind of breaking up, but your picture keeps Yeah, going. you guys are all frozen. Uh, Miss um, Yvonne? Don't. What's that? I uh, I have to get ready for work. I guess I'm the host now. Wow. <laughs> oh, I guess you're the leader now because <laughs> oh she goodness. left and yeah. Oh well. Oh yeah. Uh, Oh yeah, tell me can you tell Mr. Yvonne that I had to go and I had to leave her to get to work? Good, good luck, Clad. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, good luck. <clears throat> bye. Bye, Clad. We'll talk to you later. Bye. I need bye. Have fun. I will. Okay. okay. Good. Okay, guys. You know what? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. In the meeting, because Zoom is cutting out on me too much, I'm going to see if I can get that fixed. So I'll use the Zoom at 11.30, okay? Okay. So work on your journal prompts. Um, shoot me a text or share with them. Um, Share it with me if you need help on the drums, and I'll I'll be on there um, in a bit in a bit as soon as I get this internet took care of. Okay. All right. Okay, so go ahead and log out, guys. We'll we'll do it again at eleven thirty. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye.